What is going on mortals? Mortal T here. Welcome to Help to Tame, where I will be covering all of the tameable dinos in Ark and the best way to tame them. But first, a small disclaimer. All this taming is done on a boosted server, but the taming method is exactly the same that you would have to use on an official server. But on an official server, it is going to take longer. To grind out the resources and to do all the taming, it's going to take longer, but the tame, the method is exactly the same. It's just boosted on here to get it done over and quickly. And for you to go out and do it yourself. So today, we're going to be trying to tame the Hespionis. This little uh, duck thing here. And... What you want to want to do, if you find one of these out in the wild, you're going to want to try and make something like this. Okay? It's just one foundation with a ramp and three railings around the side. Then you're going to want a grappling hook. And you want to go and grapple this. Grapple the Hespionus. And drag it with you. Bring it into this little pen. Now, you want it to come in here. Come here. Come in here. This is... Oh, there's an egg. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. That's what we wanted. Seal that off. So it can't go anywhere. Hesper on this egg. really nice. Can I pick it up, please? Thank you. Then, we to... This has got a different tame mechanic to the others as well. So, what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to go and kill some fishies. Kill them with your bare hands or with whatever you have. Then drag the body all the way to the Hesperionis and feed it. Now, most people would probably think well, you need to drop the fish in front of it so he can eat it. Now keep the fish in your hand, walk up to the Hesperionis and press Y or triangle to do it. But now you could you could go into the water and go and kill all these fishies with your bare hands and drag them to shore or you can get one of your dinos to do it. Which is why I've got this guy, the Ix the Ornus, the expert fish killer, capturer whatever so we want a big fish because big fish seem to tame it a bit better so you must kill fish and bring it back to the Hesperionis to tame it appears the type of fish and the most importantly the size of the fish depends on how quickly it will be tamed a small fish might give it 2 to 3% taming progress, and a large fish might give it roughly between 9 and 10, or even more. There is a 30 second cooldown timer between the feeds. Salmon seems to be more effective than coal do, um, but you still can use coal as well. Now we've got a mixture in here, we've got some sedative salmon, and we have got some coal. I want a big saber tooth salmon, or biggish one. So what we're gonna do? Where's my? Am I too far away? We want to set our Ixi Ornus to come and attack this. There we go. I don't know why it's doing three million damage. I don't have a clue. This will bring you the fish that you require or that you wanted. You can now pick it up. Drag it all the way to the Hesperionis. Oh. Then drag, sorry. Pause to drag. And feed. And as you can see, it's taken bar did go up quite a bit. So the Ixionis is still there. Now we want another fish, so let's go for that one. This will go and do the fishing for us, which is really, really nice. 
We can just stand right next to here. The Ixthi Ornus will bring it straight to us. It will drop it at our feet. Right there, just like that. We then pick it up. And then we go... Oh, crap. The fish went flying. No, you can't eat it. It's mine. I want to feed it you myself. And I feed you. Feed. This is the hard part. When it's in the pen, it's pretty hard to feed. You need to get it close. Or wait for it to come close. Come on. Because you cannot jump while the fish is in your hand. It will not allow you to. Because the fish will automatically drop. When you jump. Feed. And there we go. We have tamed a Hesperionis. Look at this. Now we can get rid of this wooden railing. And we have got a Hesperionis. Really cool. That is a cool fishing mechanic. Especially if you combine this one with it as well. This can go and get your fish. And you know the little glowy stuff that you had on the fish as well. It adds to the taming efficiency. Which is really, really cool. So if you got like a normal fish. It wouldn't do it as much as one of them glowing fishies do from, from when this gets it. So, what are Hesperionis is good for? Well, Hesperionis can lay golden Hesperionis eggs and Hesperion eggs. Yes, two different types of eggs. After killing and eating a certain amount of fish, they will lay these. The golden eggs give a temporary 500% experience boost to small creatures such as Dilo, uh, Dilons, Dilos, Trudons, Compies. Or a 10% boost to large creatures when consumed. They are also the ingredients in Ketrosaurus kibble. Uh, which, which is used to tame Eutyranuses. The normal Hesperionis egg can be placed into a cooking bot, pot. Which will produce oil. Which is really cool. I've actually picked up one of these eggs. It just randomly lay one. And when I put it into a cooking pot, it will just turn into oil, which is really, really cool. And these also go on your shoulder as well. They look really funky. Look at it. <laughs> really cool. And we put it down. Where'd it go? Did we put it down? Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Hello. So that is the Hespri Ornus. A really cool mechanic to tame it, I think, personally. Especially if you're using an Ixthi Ornus as your companion to make the fishing a lot easier. Now, I've already done a taming video on the Ixthi Ornus. You can go and check that out if you haven't already got one. But it's really cool. As long as the Ixthi Ornus is in the area... And you have set it to aggressive, that's what you need to set it to. Set it to aggressive, then uh, uh, set it to hunt and retrieve, not just hunt. Because so you got no hunt, then you got hunt, then you got hunt and retrieve. Which is really cool. So then once it's like in your general area, you can just press these buttons, like the LB button or the L1 button for PS4. And then press down on the D-pad, and that command is attack this target, which is really cool. I don't want you going anywhere. I just want the X the Ornus to. Where's it go? Where did the X the Ornus go? Is it underwater? Oh, there it is. I just saw its green writing. There it is. It's still hunting. It should. Well, what did you come back for about the fishy? Okay, let's try one a bit closer to home, shall we? Let's try that one. So there we go. The Ixionus has dived in, and boom, it brings it back out in its beak. Then you will see once it brings a fish to me that it's got a slight glow on it, and that glow is actually really good because it means it's got more prime fish meat in it than usual. And. It usually drops a fish at your feet, but for some reason this has disappeared. <laughs> but yeah, that's that wasn't to do with this taming video. <laughs> I just thought I'd give you a little tutorial to 
Where are you going? Can you stop? Stop. I just thought I'd give you a little tutorial on the Ixi Ornus. Um, so you know how to hunt with it and to get the fish as quickly as possible. So you can tame the Hesperionis as quickly as possible. But anyway, Moors, that is it. I hope you found it informative. I really hope it does help you out when you come to tame a Hesperionis. And if it does, don't forget to show that like button who is boss by punching it in the face. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And as always, mortals, don't forget to share it with your family and your friends and around the world. But that is it. I am Mortal T and I am out.